Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about this little uh, issue, it's actually a major issue that these newer MacBook Pros and these older MacBooks have been experiencing. I've seen uh, a lot of them lately like this. Uh, basically, this one is a, is, is a 2016 MacBook. It, it seems, this screen seems to be normal, but it's not. It has a little line there, it, it's, it's acting up like it's, it's not even retina. It has all that kind of glare and all that, so it's not really usable basically, as you can see. The, you see the line there, right there, going from here to... about here yeah like see the the right in there so it's acting up like it's not even retina and at least all the new macbooks you know i've seen develop s some kind of a similar issues the screen is not cracked as you can see the screen is fine there's no damage from the screen or anything like that this is just example of the macbook so they, they this these all newer ones use this thin super thin cables flex cables, LCD cables like this, super thin cables. And that's that's the issue. So this is not a flex gate. This is not a flex gate problem. I actually have an example of a flex gate right here. So this is flex gate and now on 2016 and 17, which Apple does not cover, but they use the same exact screens, 16 and 17. Apple covers 16, but does not cover 17. So this uh, backlight cable, this little example of, of the flex gate. So I'm not talking about flex gate here. So you see, it seems to be normal cable, right? Yeah, and the backlight is there when you open up just a little bit. When, open, when, when you open up more, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see better. Okay, let me start to. Open up so you can see. I'm open up the screen. Here we go. Do, gonna now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the flex gate. Okay, so that's the that's the flex gate. You open up the screen and the backlight goes out completely because this cable cracks okay I'm gonna now I'm gonna close it and it's gonna come back well it's not gonna the backlight is not gonna come back and unless you restart the computer let's see how the crack is is closing <laughs> that's super funny yeah this is not funny when you pay fifteen hundred dollars for a laptop and it's done in a couple of years because of this issue. Anyway, so this is a flex gate. This is the 100% example of a flex gate. So today I'm talking not about the flex gate, about this issue with the, when the, when the screen goes out, basically. The line's going in and uh, sometimes if you twist the screen, you know, it might come back, but uh, the screen is not usable, so it has to be replaced. And, uh, and Apple does not cover this particular problem. And I think, I'm 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 pretty positive, but this this is uh, the uh, manufacturer defect as well, and I'm gonna talk about it a, a little bit right here. So let me zoom out. So this super thin cables, it has a little protection on this side, where when uh, where it actually touches the the frame, but as you can see, the dust accumulates in these areas. Okay, right here. You can see dust and like food particles and all kinds of stuff here too. You see that? Okay. See how much dust? And since this screen is opening and closing, that dust gets between these cables and this main frame. And what happens? I'm gonna show you what happens. This cable gets pinched because it's it's pretty snug against that, that body. And I'm gonna show you real quick what I'm talking about exactly, mm, right here. 
Freckle Finch is right there. I hope you can see that. Like right, right here, do you see that? Point, pinpoint that one. Right there. Right there. So this cable was pinched already with some food particle. And if you kind of twist it around, you'll be able to see. See on the other side? It's kind of poking from the other side. You see that? See right there? So this is what I'm talking about. I think this is the problem that happens with these screens over time. When you carry carry them in your bag and stuff. So this just and on, on this one, same thing, same thing on this on this one. I'm gonna try to show you because that one is actually looks like it's like totally pinched there all the way on the bottom because you can see there's some still some stuff there like well, looks like salt or sugar crystals you see those crystals there so if you turn it around let me assist maybe with the flashlight It's kind of pinched there. Yeah, not even I get. I mean, I'm, I'm, I I see this, but you might not be able to. Right there, you see that? It's like pinched all the way through. Right there on that line. So that's what I think happens with these screens. And uh, we will see a lot more of this probably with, as the time goes by, because this is super fragile. I don't know. I mean, I like these laptops, nice and thin and light, but that's, uh, that's a trade-off, I guess, because this screen is gonna be going out and Apple will not be covering this. So, adding to the e-waste, not good, not good, not so bright. Anyway, and uh, I mean, this, these cables are still in use. Uh, they're in use since 2015 on those uh, little MacBooks. And it's 2021 and they still, on 2020 model, they still use the same cables. And uh, for example, uh, let me see if I have this cable. Yeah, this is this is the the Retina, the older Retina screen. And you see this cable? Nice, beefy. It's not so beefy as on two thousand on pre pretty retina models but it's still LCD cable wires real deal and the best part is it's removable uh, yeah I'm not sure yeah let me get another screen Yeah, these cables are totally removable like this one. I already got it, got it out from this one. So all you need to do to get it out, just take this cover off, 
take this antenna out and it plugs in right there. It plugs in right there. Okay? Right there underneath. So, even if it fails, it's super easy to replace. You don't even have to mess with this LCD. Just the, just the, just the, this uh, watch, plastic, plastic bezel. Take it out, put it back in. That's it, I'm back in business. With these ones, not so easy. Not easy at all, actually, because this, I, I don't, is this even replaceable? I don't think these are like, these are tied to the LCD, so they're not even replaceable. Man, what a shame. So, they will be just continue popping up, 100%, because that's, that's what I believe the issue is. I'm not, you know, I cannot be 100% certain, but from what, from what I've seen, you know, these dust particles that accumulate here in this area, in this area, Oh. Hi. And, hey, come on, bye. So, well, it is what it is. Maybe we need to do something about it. I don't know what can we do. Anyway, so uh, that's my uh, little findings. That's what I found about this max with super fragile cables it gets pinched with the grain of salt huh or a little uh, or a little sand particle so uh, and the thing is when this computer is closed there is no way you can actually clean there in that area so my suggestion would be Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe you can clean a little bit because this is open. This is opened up. Is opened up lid, and this is exact area where it where it accumulates right there. You see, this is the the model. So, so it kind of makes sense. Let me close this lid. But do we have access to here? Yeah, we have access here. So. My suggestion, actually, to at least try to minimize the impact. This is the back of the laptop of this newer MacBook, okay? And this is the area where this stuff accumulates. So get can the air and blow it time after time. Okay, like, let me see. Can there? Get my compressor. Let's see if it's gonna make a difference. very gently though very gently clean it up in this area on the back very gently don't don't force your toothbrush in there that's for sure and then a little bit of air and I that I think should at least prevent this from happening okay so that's my little suggestion to you guys on how to prolong life of these super fragile LCDs. Okay? All right. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.